What's up, friends? Have you ever wanted to make your own custom trolling lore? Well, I have, Doug, and of course, I can't, because I'm dumb. But today, I'm going to be enlightened, because that's exactly what we're going to learn how to do together in today's video. All right, Doug, so I'm pumped about this. You brought this massive block of steel. <laughs> and lead. let me tell you, not steel, lead, excuse me, lead. This thing is so heavy. What's the purpose of this bad mama jama? Well, that's a piece of a sailboat keel. Uh, it started out as a big piece. I cut that chunk off and then that gets melted down uh, outside and pour it into... So you melt it in, in a what? I melt it on a, basically a tripod, like a crab cooker. Okay. And in a cast iron skillet. All right, in a and, cast iron skillet. And then I ladle it into a muffin tin. Look at that, we got some lead muffin. Get them small like that so I can work with them inside in my pouring pot. Okay, so once we got a lead muffin, what comes next? All right, they'll, they'll go into this hot pot here. <laughs> and get liquefied again. Liquefied lead. All right, and then we're gonna take our mold. Okay. Which is- uh, So we got a bunch of molds. Okay. Now, now the one we're gonna use today is a what type of mold? It's a eight ounce spire point jig head that's been uh, modified a little bit so that I could put a pin through there to make a hole all the way through the lure so that our leader can slide through it. Because when we're offshore, that's what we need. Whereas if we're like trolling for rockfish, not so much. Trolling for rockfish, the hook is actually inside of the right. lure head and it's it, it's molded that way. Yes. These, we want this lure to slide up and down your leader. Got it, got okay. it. I'm, so, I'm ready to see some liquid lead, man. All right, I'm gonna start with my pull pin and place that into the, the mold. Close it up. I've got my molten lead here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm already getting excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna pull that pin out. That was quick. It's quick, it solidifies very quickly. Boom. Holy cow. All right. It's done. And she comes out like that and don't touch. It's don't very touch. hot. That's hot. We're gonna set that aside. That was fast. Yeah. It got hot, I mean, it got solid it's, like, like it's, that. It's solid, but it's still about 400 degrees. Yeah, I probably won't, don't want to touch it. Okay. You want to try one? Man, I'm ready to do this. My right. first lead pouring experience. I feel like one of those old time blacksmiths. It's like being a great blacksmith. You know, I'm talking to the metal shapers. All right, gloves on, safety first. <laughs> you watch, I'm gonna screw this up. Okay, All right. so I got to put my- You put your pull pin in so it's in that slot and that slot. Okay. Okay. And, and then, then I close it. And close your top, but this is going to have to be this way so you can close it. I'll hold this while you close okay. her up. Just close her right on push up. Push it down. Yep. All right. She's closed good. Now sque keep it squeezed tight. She squeezed tight. All right. Squeeze tight. Pour nice. some. Yep. Just pour it right on in there. Oh, man. Just go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. That's perfect. perfect. All right. Now, lay your mold back down and pull. Mold twist, down. Twist and pull that pin out. Come, come, come. Come on. No. 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 There you go. May help? <laughs> Give me a glove. Oh, no. We got emergency. Oh, well. That's how quick it got stuck. Yeah, it got stuck, but we can get it out. Oh man, see this is why you don't ever have rookies work in a true blacksmith shop like we are. There's a fishing blacksmith there we go. shop. You got it. Got it out. That was embarrassing. So, all right, 
So I poured it, okay. The problem though was I didn't pull out my little leader. You need to do that pretty quickly. I like this, as soon as that pour Man. is done, lay that mold down, grab it, and, and work that right on so out So I waited there. just a couple seconds too long that's and bam. It, that's all it takes. Luckily, you're the master, Doug. <laughs> like the sword in the stone right here, this guy pulled it out. Okay, cool. So, right. so what's one, next? This one we poured earlier, so it's cooled off. Those will be a little while, 15, 20 minutes before they cool down enough to handle. Right. This one we poured earlier. So we're gonna clean this up a little bit and get it ready to go to the paint station. All right. So all this excess on here, we're gonna trim off like that. So it's still pretty soft. Or... Oh yeah, this it's lead, it's soft. You can bite into it if you want to. I would recommend it, but you can. Wow. So even though it's so heavy, it's still soft. Yep. And then we're gonna clean it up and get it nice and smooth. You're giving a good old shimmy shim. Yeah. Giving a good old shimmy. And I'm gonna take my awl so and make sure that Everything's opened up properly. So our leader hole has gotta, gotta still be there. Yep. Right? And make sure we don't have any sharp edges on there. We don't wanna cut any lines. Ah, uh, good point. Don't wanna cut this leader. That All sucks. Right. All right. Ready for paint. Man, that's it. We just did that. And you got how many of these molds, these, uh, these guys right here? You got a whole bunch of them. I got a whole wall full of molds, oh. all different shapes and sizes. So you can make them for all really kinds big. of different lures. Yep. Wow, all right. So that's phase one. Now it's time to make this thing pretty, right, Doug? That's right, we're gonna head over here to the paint department. Phase two, let's make her pretty. All right, Doug, so now we got this beautiful, clean lure head here. She's looking good. Ready to move on to phase two. Phase one was awesome. Yeah. I'm excited about this one. So what do we got next? Well, we've let them cool off sufficiently, got them cleaned up, ready to go. So I'm, I use these, uh, these finish screws and I'm gonna uh, screw them into the back side of the lure head. And then we'll, we had this little drying rack here. So we hang them up just like that. Got our paint here. This is vinyl paint. All, the, all my paint is vinyl. Some people use a powder paint. This uh, process is, is what I prefer. Uh, this vinyl is, paint. This is a white, which I use as a primer. Uh, it's mixed up, ready to go. So we're gonna take one of these lower heads, give it a little bath. Woo! Let the excess run off for a minute. We'll hang that up to dry and drip. We'll soak another one. Hang that up to dry as well. That's cool. That looks good, Doug. That looks good. Get that out of the way and they'll they'll drip like that for a couple minutes. Uh, I keep an eye on the drips. When it starts to drip, slow down, I tap the nose on it a little bit uh -huh. and clean out the hole. That There's a hole that goes through this lure yes. so that your leader on your fishing line can go through it. Got it. Okay, and it can slide up and down the line. So we'll okay. clean that out. Get, make, that's, that's one of the processes here that, that is a little bit more time consuming than your typical rockfish lure head. Okay. Uh, getting that thing cleaned out so you don't have a problem. Don't on, forget on that. Line. Let's put some flash and some color on this one. This has already okay. been painted. This has been primed. Okay, so we've had a, we got white primer on white here. White primer first. Then we dipped it in like this silver. It's a silver pearl. Okay. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this mixing cup here and I'm gonna take a little bit of clear, clear paint here. And I get a little scoop in there. So this is just a clear paint? That's just a, it's a clear coat. It's what I use to finish all of the lures when they're okay, finished, being painted. Okay, same thing we've seen in other videos. Exactly. That initial clear coat that you did on the rod, same right. stuff. So, uh, similar, similar, it's uh, this is not an epoxy. This is just a paint. It's just a clear, it. clear finished paint. All right. So what I did was I, I put that clear in there and I put some silver glitter in there. And we'll mix that up good. We'll take that lure head, coat it like that, and then Ooh. the same thing, we're gonna let it sit there and dry. Now, yeah. that, what that's gonna do is that's just gonna give you some flash. It's gonna catch some sunlight, give you a little bit of color. These have dripped what I feel like is long enough. So now I'm gonna turn it the other way around and it's gonna go to this next drying table. 
Moving on. That'll go there. And then this one. Now, we can uh, keep moving right along and, and put some color on another one if you like. So we gotta make sure, we gotta once again make sure that our leader hole is clean. That's right. All right, cool, let's keep going. What color do you wanna make? Let's uh, make you make your color lure today. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get custom, y'all. I want, so <clears throat> do you have something that's like a purple maroon style? I can, we can do purple, we can mix colors. Uh, let's do, we can do a purple today. Let's, let's let me find my purple paint. There it is. This is a custom mixed color, by the way. Oh, I like it. I like it. We're gonna swirl it around a little bit, make sure it's mixed properly. Pop the top off. I'm gonna go here, little twist. Yes, sir. That says fish. That's what that says. It does say fish. Purple is one of my favorite colors offshore too. You hear that? The man likes purple everybody, offshore. Everybody likes purple. That's a hot tip. Gee, thanks. So here we go again. We're gonna watch watch paint dry. Yeah. That's a great part this about this job. This is the only time watching paint dry is fun. Yeah. Right now, making fishing lures. So we're gonna do, after having done all this and getting these painted, uh, when we're, after we've put our last coat of however Whatever pretty we want. we want to make them, yep. we apply the eyes. Okay. And then we clear coat the whole thing again. That keeps the eyes on there and gets them nice and shiny. And then they're done. And then we go to the final stage, which is tying the hair on. We got to tie some hair on, y'all. Let's do it. All right. Hair transplant time. All right, time for step three, hair transplant time, which by the looks of it, Doug, I might be needing sooner I, rather than later. I'd rather not talk about it. I know you don't <laughs> want to talk about it, Doug. So this is, all right, we've got th this nylon hair stuff. It comes in these, what's this called? It's called a skein. It's a skein. Uh, roughly right. a pound of hair. Uh, it's. I think it's made in super long lengths and then it's cut to length. Yeah, all right. So we got us a skein of this and then we have a bunch of little uh, like options that you have here. All but, the different, well, not all the different colors, but I have quite a few of them. Most of the, the most popular colors I keep try to keep in stock. So when we're making a lure, the reason why the, the, the nylon hair is so important to the appearance is, is what exactly? It gives it some movement. That, that, as that's swimming through the water, it, okay. it actually moves in and out and it actually looks, gives it the appearance of you. actual fish swimming. Interesting, okay, okay. So that gives us that fish-like appearance. So let's see if we can take one of these lure heads yep. that we've so elegantly designed and let's put some hair on it. All right, let's do the red one here. Okay. I'm gonna start with my nylon thread. What's this tool called that you're using? That's a bobbin. A bobbing? Bobbin. B a a bobbin. B -O bobbin. Okay. B O B B I N. Bobbin. And that just holds a, the uh, spool of thread. It's got a little sleeve where the, the line goes through. And I always put a wrap around one of the legs to help give me a little bit of tension so it doesn't slip on me. Oh, okay. So I'll start with a couple wraps on the uh, around the collar of the lure and do about a dozen wraps on that under wrap. You a rap artist, Doug. Uh, everything I do is about string. <laughs> so now we'll get a nice healthy pinch of this uh, crystal, white crystal hair. I'm gonna lay it on that collar. So we've got a small amount going above the head. Yep, but and the rest that's is all, yes. Yeah, the, that's just that, that tail section, just right. enough to hold it on there. Okay. And I'm gonna put four or five wraps. Not too tight because we still have to move this thread, or this uh, okay. hair around. So you like fan it around. And we're gonna fan it around. And try to get it nice and even. That's cool looking. About like that. All right. And now we'll put a few more wraps to secure it. Okay. And then we're gonna flip it over, finish uh, fanning that hair out so it's nice and even. All right, now we're gonna finish, finish off the thread.
And put a couple of hitches on here to hold it down. Good old hitches. Yep. I usually do two or three. The riches just, are in the hitches. You're really weird. That just holds it temporarily. What we'll do, the last step is going to be uh, paint these threads so that'll lock them in there and they won't, your hair won't Oh, slip. so you'll actually paint the threads too? Yeah. So that, Going the extra mile. Just custom, to keep them from slipping. That's why it's called custom. I'm feeling it, Doug. All right, we can go right here and uh, and paint these threads. Let's paint them. Paint some threads. This is just the same clear paint that we used uh, to, to clear coat the lure. Just have a little jar of it here. Go around here. So we got a clear coat of paint once again. That's your favorite go-to, I see. Yep. And then now she's ready to hang up. Now that hangs up and dries, and uh, after that dries, I'll I'll trim any loose ends or any any stragglers on there, and uh -huh. then she's ready to go fishing. She is ready for battle, and now you, my friends, are also ready for battle because that's exactly how you can make a custom trolling lure for your next bluefin adventure.